vision is that young people will have somewhere to go which is going to be it's quite important because it's never happened before in the centre of Bristol. The vision for the station is um, a hub. When young people come in, not only can they have, like, have, have fun and uh, meet new people and that, they can also get accreditation in the areas that they want to like, get involved in. This will be open all day, every day. Not 24 hours now. No, not 24 hours. <laughs> not 24 hours, but like seven days, most, hopefully seven days a week. So no matter where you live in Bristol, it will be a place for young people, a hub for you to maybe learn some new skills. Improve their self-esteem, uh, get involved in <laughs> activities with other young people, improve their career prospects, um, get training, get skills, lots of different areas they can get involved in. I want like accessibility for young people with disability mainly. I just want all groups involved with it, like the LBGT group, black minority groups and all that because it's right in the centre of town, it's got a real central location. Once uh, young people sort of see it as a place where they can sort of express themselves freely, um, use it as a place to, to meet up with other young people and share ideas, I think that's going to attract people to the station. vision for it is that young people will be involved at every level. So they're involved in meetings where important decisions are made uh, from the design and the interiors right up to uh, what projects are going to be uh, on in the station and how it's going to run, the structures and things like that. There are about eight to ten people in the group and we meet once a week for about two hours. We're, we're able to voice our opinions and we're recognised. Um, that our views are taken on board. As a group, we're sort of going through that now, sort of fig figuring out what sort of furniture to use. We were looking at um, some wooden furniture. Some of the group didn't like it. Some of them did like it. So I think it's going to be a mixture of like new sort of inno innovative ideas and designs mixed with some old um, designs, which will sort of tie in nicely with the history of the actual building. We're trying to discuss if we're going to have a friendly environment and we're going to also use a bit of modern as well, so it makes the young people feel, well, this is new. What's really funny nowadays is that a lot of people think that being young and that, it's got to be all, it's all got to be fancy, it's got to have graffiti everywhere and that. Young pe a young person is just like any other person and that. Some people like football and games and that, some people like puzzles. So it's, it, we've got different areas and sections where, for instance, girls, they might like to do dancing, people like, might do football, like me, for instance, and that. So it, it's a whole wide range of activities. We've also got computers as well, so people can go on. Um, it, it's just really dynamic really and it's great for everyone to come along to. I think there's going to be um, a chill out zone so that's going to be a place which is going to be built to sort of make people feel relaxed. There's going to be a cafe area, um, there's going to be um, like a music studio, um, there's going to be like places where you can go and get advice. I think it's important that a lot of young people do feel safer as well so like to mix with other young people across Bristol it's kind of part of them learning how to not judge people and to understand that there are different people from all walks of life. It could be a place which will bring people together creatively and socially, it will bring people together. And it's also it's about getting communities across Bristol into partnership in one, instead of saying, well, I'm not going over to that area because he's from that area. So it's just trying to get the communities all together. The point of that visit was to really get an appreciation of the building and its history and what the kinds of things that were going on here a long time ago and to make sure that we don't lose sense of that because it matters kind of what's happened here. There's been a lot of artistic history with different like uh, art space, life space and different artist companies and things coming in and using it in a really um, 
kind of creative and youthful way. Because in the emblem, in the station branding, it's all about kind of like the energy, the fire, all of this kind of stuff. So I think we, we got out of that going to the headquarters a good idea of like what the history was about and what it was like to be a fireman, to be in the fire service and all the kind of things that were going on. I'm in, I'm in the station drivers and that's something that is fundamental to the future of the station and this, this youth centre that's going to be open. It's kind of built my confidence in something like this because I've never been involved in something so big and kind of uh, ultimately like just revolutionary kind of thing that can really help lots of young people. It's, it's amazing. I've just, I've, I'm learning so much from being involved. It's great.